This is a Hayward uh, HP 21104T uh, heat pump cool heater, and it has the code COP, is the code I got. And uh, I checked the electrical resistance on this, and I got something like, uh, I don't have my notes, uh, 15 million ohms, and the expected range is in the thousand ohms. So um, that little sensor is at the end of this wire. And it's the coil defrost sensor. You can read on that later. And I'll give you the short version too, uh, what, where it plugs in just behind this panel in here. But uh, I'm gonna replace it and I'll see what I get out of this, okay? Right, so here I have the part number. It's the HPX11024169. Remember, default frost replacement sensor. And uh, what I did out of the package, I measured the electrical resistance across this and made sure that it meets the spec for the thermistor described in the troubleshooting document. Uh, that troubleshooting document, again, is available online. Inside that thing right there is a little metal housing that holds this in place. And the point of that is to keep it adjacent to the pipe, I'm assuming, without having to penetrate the refrigerant boundary in the event that it fails like this. And then it wouldn't be a DIY, it'd be a refrigerant evacuation. And you can see I've got that uh, tucked deep inside there. And again, because this is intended to measure refrigerant at this point and not anything else, and make sure we bring that insulation back around it and uh, keep it closed and I'll get in here and put some more insulation on it before I plug this in. I've got it replaced up to the wiring and uh, full disclosure I had an idea of what I was going after. You can see there's nothing wrong with the probe but uh, I did know I had a little mouse in there that had got in there and had some fun with this wiring, build a nest, and you can see the wiring is damaged there. So I knew what I was going after. Again, don't take my word for it, but uh, take a look in the manual and take a look at where this thing plugs in. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing in here, you know, all that legal stuff, contact a lawyer, a um, electrician, contact a service agent, follow the electrical safety precautions, turn off the power, and, uh, I'm not liable. Got it? It's uh, connections number 20 and 21.